you are welcome to learn programming skills channel and in this special video i want to share with you 10 keyboard shortcuts that is very useful keyboard shortcuts we can utilize them whenever we are performing our daily activities in the command prompt software so without any further ado let's dive in and explore this keyboard shortcut the first keyboard shortcut is control plus the shift key and the enter key this keyboard shortcut allows you to open your command prompt as an administrator why this option sometimes you want to perform some additional functionality in the command prompt window you need to access the command prompt as an administrator so that you can perform those additional and greater functionalities so let's see how we can do this i have set for command prompt on my desktop background and this is the best match now to open this as an administrator i'm going to hold the control key the shift key and the enter key now this provides you with this dialog box that says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and we are going to choose yes and you can obviously see that we have this command prompt window opened and this command prompt is in the administrator mode therefore we can perform those functionalities those activities that we want to do in this special window our next keyboard shortcut is the windows key and the letter s this opens the search box of your windows interface and it allows you to quickly search for command prompt and identify your special software so when i type the cmd this provides me with the best match and this is the command prompt window therefore i can quickly press the enter key to open this or left click on this particular option when i move to the right side of this window i can also choose open and this is going to launch command prompt on the desktop background we are moving to our third keyboard shortcut and that is the windows key and the letter r this provides us with this run command and in this window we can type cmd and when we hit the enter key this opens command prompt on your desktop the difference between the previous ones is that when you look at this title bar we have this option on the title bar that says c colon windows system 32 and the name of this software when we use the traditional way you can see that this particular title bar has this command prompt option and when you compare this the only difference that you see is this particular name on this title bar as compared to this particular option so this also allows you to open command prompt on your desktop background let's move to our fourth keyboard shortcut and this particular shortcut is the tab key and this allows us to automatically complete some commands in the command prompt window let's illustrate this particular option i'm going to open command prompt now when you look at this window in this particular line of path i have c colon username and bossman and i want to switch this current location or directory to the desktop so that when i'm performing any activity i am going to locate those activity on the desktop background currently this cursor is blinking here and if i want to switch to a different directory and i'm going to use the cd command which is the change directory so i'm going to type cd and hit the space bar now i can fully type the desktop in this command line but i can easily press the letter d which is the initial starting letter of desktop and when i use the tab key you can see that i am switching between directories that start with the letter d so if i'm able to set up to the desktop i can hit the enter key and this gets me access to the desktop directory so this is a quicker way to switch between directories that has the same or similar starting letter in the command prompt window so you need not to manually type this particular desktop you can just type the initial letter and use the tab key to get access to your particular directory 
now let's look at our fifth keyboard shortcut which is the control key and letter a now let's type some commands to create some directories on our desktop background now this is the command i want to use to create these three particular directories on my desktop background now in this case if i want to select all these commands in this command line i can use ctrl plus a and you can see that all these are selected and this tells you that these commands are selected when you get access to the title bar of the command prompt window so on the title bar we have it as select command prompt meaning this is the current option or action that is being taking place within the command prompt window that means that our commands has been selected so this keyboard shortcut which is ctrl plus a allows you to select a particular command in a command line another way or a bonus tip is after selecting a command line when you hold the control key and the letter a once again this is going to select the entire content or information within the command prompt window when you press the escape key that is going to cancel this particular operation so control plus a select a command line another control plus a select the entire content in a command prompt window our next keyboard shortcut is the enter key and the function of this key is to copy a selected content so if i hold ctrl plus a and use the enter key on the keyboard this particular selection that has been copied is being located in the clipboard of the computer system therefore i can easily paste this into a different command line or also paste this into a different window or software to have this copied item so this is our seat keyboard shortcut that is the enter key let's move to our seventh keyboard shortcut and this is the use of the right mouse button on the computer mouse when i press the enter key on the keyboard this is going to create these three folders on the desktop in this command line if i press the right mouse button you can see that this has pasted this particular commands that i copied from this line of path so when i hold the right mouse button this has pasted this command if i press it again it's going to repaste that is going to redo this particular action and you can see the effect if i want to cancel you press the escape key and this erase this particular command so the right mouse button paste copied item within the buffer of the command prompt window now our next keyboard shortcut or our next keys we can use is the backspace key and the delete key let's assume that we have these commands here and i want to erase from the right to the left of this command line I can use the backspace to erase these characters available if i want to erase from left to right then i have to reposition my cursor then i'm going to use the delete key and that is going to delete from left to right this is very useful especially when you have a long command line typed in a particular path and you want to erase certain characters between certain command lines you can use this backspace key or the delete key depending on your preference and a particular tax you are performing so backspace and also the delete key helps you to delete characters within the buffer of the command prompt but the backspace allows you to erase from right to left and the delete key allows you to erase from left to right so you should recognize these keys or this keyboard shortcut whenever you are performing within the cmd window we are moving to our next keyboard shortcut which is the knife keyboard shortcut and that is control plus home and this particular keyboard shortcut helps you whenever you have a lot of content displayed within your buffer of command prompt you want to navigate to the beginning this helps you to navigate and let's assume that i have these options here You can see that i have typed this command and this has displayed this content in this command prompt window now i am currently situated in this line of path 
if i hold control plus hold this jumps me to the beginning of this particular buffer and i can see all commands that i have already typed and also see the beginning of these commands available so control plus home jumps you to the beginning as the name goes home it jumps you to the beginning of this particular software the next keyboard shortcut which is our 10th keyboard shortcut is control plus end if i hold this keyboard shortcut this jumps me to the end of this buffer and i can also get access to the end of all the types commands or available content in the command prompt window now let's look at this bonus tip i want to share with you in this particular video and this particular bonus tip is using the control key and the backspace i'm going to reveal some commands here so i have md jonas jones and james if i use the control key and the backspace this is going to delete west by west and this allows you to quickly erase some characters available in the buffer of the command prompt window so these are the 10 keyboard shortcuts i want to share with you in this particular video and we had a bonus tip let's put this into practice and make our work easier and also comfortable whenever we are working within the command prompt software thank you for watching this video please like share comment and also subscribe for more content and we shall meet in our future videos